Hello guys, Steven here. Now in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the field calculator in ArcGIS Pro. Now for those coming originally from ArcMap, you should be familiar with the field calculator. So the one in ArcGIS Pro is basically not new. So I'm sure you may be familiar with some of the things that I'll be showing you. But yes, so you can learn a lot. And for first time ArcGIS users, hope you enjoyed this video. Great. So now I am going to create two fields. Okay. So to do that, I can right click on any of the fields and just go to fields. Okay. So basically I'm going to do some very basic, um, some few um, calculations using the field calculator. And I want to have a field, one to store um, integer values and another to store the string values. Now when doing calculations, for instance, if you are adding two numbers, you cannot store it in a string field. You have to store it in at least an integer field. So that's the reason why I'm creating these two fields. Okay. So my first field, I'll call it results. Results. Um, string. Okay. And then the data type will be string test, sorry. And then, okay, so alias will be result string. Okay, so now the second field will be results underscore integer. And then the alias will be results result integer. Okay, so results results integer. Results string. So for integer we'll have double. Okay. So and I will come here and I will say save to save my fields. Okay. So now I'll go back to my attribute table and I should have the two fields done. Okay. So now the what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to start with a string field. Okay, so I can right click it and then go to field calculator. Oh, calculate field, sorry. Okay, so now this is the calculate field window and this is where you perform all your calculations. So we are using Python expression and then over here we have access to all the fields in our attribute table and then also all the Python functions of field calculator function which you can use okay so let's try a hands on something okay so over here i have district capital okay which is in sentence case so i want to convert all of these to caps okay or capital letters to do that okay so over here we have result string okay so this is what's going to store our output values okay so now what i'm going to do is that i will click in the test box and um so which value which field do i want to convert to caps okay is the district capital and then the helpers here are the various functions which i can use okay so i can go to dots um i think it's dot upper um yeah so i can go to dot upper and then i can click on apply and so you should now see my district converted to caps and then store in the result string. So I can do same for lower and convert everything to lower. So I will delete dot upper and this time I will choose dot lower and then apply. Okay, and then I have half a cine in Crawford and others. Okay, all in small letters. Now let us try something else. Okay, so um you can try the l strip and then the r strip so what the l strip and the r strip does is that it deletes extra fields okay extra spaces for l strip it removes extra spaces before um your field value and then for r strip it does the same okay 
so i can click within my box here um let's see okay so let me just click on okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to create some spaces okay before maybe the first four um rows or my field values okay so i want to clear all these spaces you might it, assume if you have a lot of data like millions and you have these inconsistencies then you don't want to do it manual okay so i can just right click this okay and go to calculate field and then where which field do i want to remove the space okay is the same resource string so what i'm going to do that i'm going to specify resource string so what it means is that i'm going to calculate on this field and store it and replace the values of that same field so i can do that and just go to think l strip so yeah so i think it's l strip um i can go to l strip i can click on apply and watch the spaces remove so you can see that okay yeah so you can do a lot of functions okay so for instance we want to remove all spaces okay within the test so like man so i mean if you want to i want to remove all the spaces and want to replace the spaces with a dash okay so i have think i have two options so i can either use replace okay so i'll delete dot l strip um so i can just do replace and i'm going to specify arguments okay two arguments so what am i replacing spaces replacing with what with a dash okay and then i can click on apply and then watch how the spaces are removed and replaced with a dash okay so you can see that so i can reverse it so re replace all the dash now with a space and then i can click on apply okay so that's the first method the second method i can use join uh, sorry concatenate so concatenate is going to okay so let's work concatenate concatenate is going to basically pick two fields and then join them together using a dash so we can concatenate um maybe the district name and then the district code okay so to do that um we are going to use concatenate uh concatenates okay mm. okay of uh, oh uh, let me see join i think it's join let's see so join uh i don't know i thought okay yes good so this is called coordinate fields okay so you specify that and it gives you options okay arguments so you can specify the first field um you want to concatenate and in my case let's say it's um district capital and then i'll change the field two to the second field which is um district code okay and so it's going to join the street capital and the street code together with a dash and then put the results in results of string so i can do apply i have an error okay it's better string instance in found okay so so there you have it okay so this doesn't work on it only works on string okay so the code here this should code here it's an integer so i'll ra rather use maybe something like um maybe district so so i'm going to concatenate district and then district capital okay district and then district capital and then and this time it should work so it's concatenates the district and then a the district capital using a dash okay so apart from that you can also 
you know, write some basic Python expressions, okay? Like, find a maximum value for two fields. That is an array. And here I can specify which fields that I want to check on. So let's say mail. Um, okay, so I think I'll have to do that on the results.integer because the results is going to be um, an integer value and it cannot be stored. Um, I think it could be stored in the string, but it's going to convert it into a string. So we want to still keep the integer data type. So put the results in the results.integer. Okay, so let's go back to calculate field and then we can just write a basic Python expression like maximum. Okay, so you can and this you have a code block here that's what the code block we won't do code blocks okay we can do code blocks in a future tutorial but basically you can write your own code and functions within this code block okay so i'm con i'm finding the maximum value for male okay female and then i think um maybe um yeah so basically let's work with two so basically what is what it means is that it's going to pick the male field female field check and then put the maximum value in results integer so i can apply here and then there you go so you have male and female here okay so you have male and then you have female and it gives you the biggest value which is the male and then put them here okay so um you can can go on and then you can try out other stuff like um let me check out the count okay let's see counts okay so maybe district and then dot count um so let's see i think it should count um okay so okay so let's see um okay so i don't know exactly what does okay so uh i'll check i think um this counts well anyway so let's let's do something else um there are so many of them okay and then Maybe some of them you may have to just do a little bit reading around it and get to know what it basically it does, okay? But I think, um, yeah, so I'm sure we've, we've looked at a lot, okay? So we also have daytime fields, okay? So you can do daytime now and it's going to give you the date and then the time. So, but it's converted into integer, okay? Which is which is not supposed to be so so let's so it gives you um so let's do it rather in the string okay so i think it gives you the time in a different format okay so let's um date time okay so let's do the date time now um yeah there you go okay so so you have it in a string format um i think you can also do other things like let's work on the integer like calculating the area okay calculating um length and then so on okay so here i can even add the male and then the female but just i think doing a, a simple python of function okay so let's do some and then let's try out new i hope this works um female and then let's see there you have it okay so it asks male and then the female and then it puts the results here okay so you have access to all this to try your hands on and you can um you can further you know expand it okay write your own code blocks okay so maybe let's try one last thing like um want to find out um so you can even check if something is in lower or caps you know 
uh, something is titled um, yeah you can check a lot of stuff okay so maybe I'll just leave it to you and just you guys just take time and then explore okay so I'll see you guys in the next video where we actually start looking at working with geo databases and creating feature classes please do subscribe and then catch you later bye